I've got nothing apart from my wit and beauty. <laughs> Did you say your weight and beauty? Shut up! <laughs> stop! Please stop! Will you stop? Even it doesn't come, or... I'd like you to stop! Hello, welcome back. What? Wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> you, could, you begin then. Um, yes, hello, welcome back. Um, now I'm ready. I had to just get this bit of hair over this shoulder um, to be fully ready. So vain. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the top field and we have got a fallen tree, which hasn't caused any damage. It's all good. <laughs> Before, like, uh, you know, there's no no sort of like things broken but there is a fallen tree and we are here to do the thing that we love the most which is chop fallen trees up so let's have a look at it yes yes go and look at the tree so yeah oh <laughs> i just realized the problem wait let me look at the problem it's kind of high isn't it it's high and also off camera a couple of days ago you said oh when i chop the lower bit i hope it's not going to just all collapse and i was like why would it collapse it's like a fallen tree um and it's because i didn't notice <laughs> this bit <laughs> for some reason my mind blanked out the fact that it's got two limbs on it it's tangled yeah so i thought it had fallen and it was just a really sort of wonky tree that had come this way and i thought you were worried about this lower part here just sort of flopping down but no you've got an entire kind of i don't know what's that four or five meter ten me tree 10 meters <laughs> yeah that could fall on your head yeah well it's not going to fall on my head because i'm going to be down there he says pointing into the distance <laughs> where the actual base of the tree is. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. It's not going to fall on my head either because I'll be <laughs> over there. I'll be in the shadow. <laughs> yeah. So the base of the tree, the trunk section that I need to cut is down here. Come and see. Ow. I didn't know we were going off-roading. Yes, yeah, sorry. We indeed are. Honestly, I haven't got my mental capacity for this if this that we've got to cut down here um i don't think it's going anywhere no but we'll find out yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna film this from a distance and zoom in yeah you might have to. <laughs> yeah why are we excited about this tree though well, uh because it's dead so it's if it uh inside if it, it should be seasoned already it just might need to dry out a bit um, and then it should be ready for this winter. But what type of tree is it? Ah, silly tree. It's Our a favorite silly kind. tree, the uh, best so kind. It's very, very hard, dense, and it makes great firewood. What are silly trees really called? <laughs> uh, in, Fr in France, they're called false acacias. In, um, black locust. Uh, the black locust uh, in black America. Black locust, and England, I, think. I remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the thing is, looking at this, if I cut any of this now, A, it's high up in the air and I can't reach it. And mm. B, it's going to make it not as top heavy. <clears throat> if I chopped this first this and, then, limb. and then that bit, and then when I come to this to chop this bit, it's going to end up going down and be very difficult to pull back up. So yeah, I think. Yeah, I guess. Is this lower limb not? It's sort of tangled on the top and the bottom, isn't it? It's tangled up there <laughs> and it's yeah, propping right. itself up down here. Yeah, it's a right mess. So depending on how this goes, we, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to film from far away. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere near that. I'll, I'll just... have the uh, urgence on speed dial for you just in case. Thanks. <laughs> That's okay. Well, that took about 10 years to get the damn thing started. What uh, thing? This thing down here? This stupid chainsaw, yeah. I have to say, it looks like a butter knife compared to that tree. But... It does, does look a bit insignificant. <laughs> yeah. But we'll see how we go. Yes, you have we cut will. up bigger trees before. Some trees <laughs> in the past. Okay. 
Let's, we're going in, people. <laughs> in we go. <laughs> oh, he disappeared into the woodland. Ah! I'm going to need you to hand me this. Huh? I'm going to need you to hand it to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> How do I even get down this bloody... Jump. Jump? It's like six foot. It is not six foot. Get jump down. Jump down there. You jump down there. Get down there. Honestly. Six foot. Let's have a look. You stand next to the edge of the wall and we'll see if it's six foot. More like four foot. But still. <laughs> ah, mozzies everywhere. Oh, great. I'm already yep. coated in bites. <laughs> this tree is enormous. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your little chainsaw is going to have um, a time of it. I'm not going to throw the chainsaw, don't worry. No. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Do right. I have to be this close to the action? No. I'll turn myself off because it's going to be noisy. <sighs> Where do I go though? Because Over there. I'm not going to be able to see anything going on. Oh man, what? Uh, now you get down. Let's see you jump down this <laughs> slight incline. Well, you sort of get your hand on the tree yeah. and then your foot on the wall, hoping that the wall, the wall doesn't collapse under you. And then sort of lower yourself down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done. Can we just, I'm coming over. I just want to show the blade compared to the tree <laughs> before you get started. Tree, <laughs> blade. Yeah. It's a bit small for the tree. Like I said, it's basically a butter knife. <laughs> right, I'm backing away. Okay. <laughs> Is that the tree like crickety cracking? Yeah. Oh dear. It moved. Okay. It's on by a little thread. Oh, okay. Um, it did occur to me that like, if the whole thing decides to roll down, we haven't got it roped to anything to save it. Although no. there's nothing that could save it. We haven't got anything strong enough. I don't think it's going down. It's what... cracking though, I can hear it. Yeah, I think we should um, just vacate this area just in case it decides to go up and then backwards. Right. <laughs> and what, what, why are you not cutting it completely? Well, I thought it might just go if I gave <laughs> swift hoof, <laughs> but no, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> right, the last little bit then, I guess. <laughs> We've got bats uh, living in the chateau. This one is in the hallway between the kitchen and the downstairs toilet, and it's just up in here, in this gap. Come and have a look. <laughs> I'm not getting that close. Well, you can't actually, show no, the good people the gap that come closer. I don't mind it. You can't actually see the bat, but I'm just demonstrating where the holes are, and this is where it's just living here, because if you look down, to the floor, which is downwards. <laughs> Thank you. You will note the little mouse-like droppings there, which are bat droppings. Mm, great. So what I'm gonna do is just stick some expanding foam just up there, but I wanna make sure that the bat isn't there first, so I'm trying to try and get it out. 
it is in there indeed. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't want to expand and foam it to death. There's no bat flying out. So no, you're declaring that to be a bat free zone. I'm just saying it's bat free. In which case, right. we need to put something down on the floor here. Because this expanding foam could indeed just go and fall down. Well, you're not very well organised, are you? Well, that's why you're here, my love. Oh, is it? Yeah. To basically be the lackey and get the stuff that you need. Or, or you could just grab the expanding foam, it's up to you. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> which way does it go? Forward or. Oh, it's that bit. Just. Do, uh, you know, little bits. I don't really want to get under it. No. I imagine trying to wash expanding foam out of your hair and stuff is not especially pleasant. Can see that coming out the edge. I do not want that. Stop! Please stop! Will you stop? It doesn't come, or I'd like you to stop. Yeah. That's a good win. <laughs> That's a good win. <laughs> There's some spooky ass noises there from the chateau. Jesus. Oh dear. That looks dreadful. So stop. What you do is you wait for it to dry and then you sort of cut it off so it doesn't look so awful. Okay, um, well, yeah. leave it at that for now then. Oh, we have to do another, the other room, don't we? This is the second room where the bat flew out when we were watching TV. <laughs> TV's there. And the bat came out from pretty much just where Paul is doing the foam into at the moment which was great. <laughs> so yeah, he has done the bat check. He's not just like sending a bat to its foamy grave. We hope. All right, we'll call that done. Okay. Hopefully that will rid us of the bat problem in the living room, <laughs> but we shall see. <laughs> Okay, okay, so here is the tree. I am at a very far away distance because goodness knows what's about to happen. We can hear it cracking up here in this tangle and Paul is down there somewhere about to sort of make the final cut on the trunk. And I am a far, far distance away from the action. So yeah, off you go. I'm gonna back away. <laughs> and zoom in. Oh, oh, is that it? Boo. Well, that wasn't very interesting. <laughs> hmm, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it's planning. But it would appear that it's completely free from its mooring now. <laughs> I feel like we've now made a danger puzzle. It's not connected, it's just sort of like this now. Okay. Resting on itself. Okay. So. I mean, it's cracking like mad down here on the small. Yeah, because um, this has become a load bearing member now, whereas previously it wasn't. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just be careful. Don't get too close because if it flops towards us, there's still this really tall limb here that will crash down. I really should have roped it up before I decided to chop it. <laughs> I know, that did occur to me. That did occur to me, like when you were part way through the cut. Oh, we should have roped this. Duh. The thing is, it, if it had gone the other way, it could just send the digger up into the air. Mm. So now. So now. <laughs> now you might need to go and get the digger perhaps. Mm. And we might need to try and pull it. Okay, so we've got the digger. 
Uh, now we just have to figure um, out how to get, do the rest of this bit. Yeah, <laughs> the roping it up is going to be exciting because it's making so many cracking noises that getting near it to put ropes on is going to be yeah, a worrisome I'm, journey. I, I'm tempted to stick the digger up that end and pull it this way toward, away from the um, field. That's going to be what I'm going to try. I don't think you should. No? Well, what do you propose? Um, I propose... Go, go over to it and propose. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I propose, keeping well away, chaining it at this V. Like, good luck to whoever has to do that. Up there? Yeah. Right. And then and, what? And then bringing the digger up this way. And pulling do that it. motion again? This way. That way. <laughs> Good dance. Yeah. No, because it will just... roll. What will happen, my love, I think, is um, if I chain it here and pull it, it's going to roll this way, or it's going to go all the way back down into the uh, woods. Because we don't know what's going on in this mess. This is boring. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, it's a couple of days later, um, the expanding foam has now dried. Yep, and it's, yeah, it looks Looking great. Looking like crap. <laughs> <laughs> so what the plan is now is just to trim away the excess uh, with a knife and then paint it the same colour as the beams. Okay. Ruby's plan is this is how I get in the way. Yeah. Oh, okay, yep, here she is. <laughs> shush. She cannot shush. No, she really cannot. Don't jump down and eat that. How do you do it neatly on the... <laughs> Total mess. Know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Shush you. Okay, so it's I've cut away the excess, um, and now what the idea is just to paint it the same colour as what's up there. Hopefully, with the smallest amount of <laughs> paint left over, left over known to mankind. <laughs> oh god, so, it's like marmite. <laughs> yeah, let's paint it with marmite. Probably get the same uh, effect. Yeah, except less mould. Is that the wood stain you used for the bar windows? Yeah. Um, Just finishing off the last little bits. I realised that I had to paint the sort of surrounding wood as well, just to make sure that it didn't look bizarre, the colour difference. I'm... Um... <laughs> Oh. It's quite dark yeah. compared to the beams. It'll dry a different colour, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, but you can see it doesn't look... You can't tell that there's anything other than a painted bit of wood now. No, no. So that's good. That's a job done. Well done. Well, it's not. You've got the living room to do. <laughs> but for the purposes of this video, that's a job done. Exactly. <laughs> well done. Right, you grab hold of this and hurl it to me and I'll go around here where I don't think the tree is going to land. Oh great, so I'll go on the side where it is going to land. So, although I am sitting in a pile of snapped off branches from the tree that indeed did land, so that's good. Um, <laughs> I am not fast, I am not a gazelle. You don't, no, no, just throw it to me. Don't get under it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> my See you love. later. Good luck. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah. It said, it said chink. You need this bit. What? I'm not coming back. Got to come and get this bit. Wait a second until I'm ready to give it to you. 
You need to sort of hurl it up to your right though. Where's my hard hat? Can I have my hard hat? I very much want my hard hat. <laughs> Where did you put it? It's in the thing. Oh darling, why have you left that in a big heap? I need my hard hat, I'm not thinking straight. Right, if you've got the hard hat, you can do all of this. I've got nothing apart from my wit and beauty. <laughs> Did you say your weight and beauty? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> right, well that's sort of un... Okay. You spoon! <laughs> it's undone itself. Feed it through. And I don't think you... you've got time to like consider multiple options. Just feed it through. Hey. This goes. That go the loop. Oh, don't pull on the branch too much. That's it. I suggest bringing it round to our left so that it can be chained. That's it. And don't. Right. Now chain yourself on. I don't think the digger is going to be able to. Ooh. No. <laughs> We shall see. I don't know. I don't know. Backing away. <laughs> so, viewers, place your bets now. <laughs> Will the chain snap? Will the cord yellow thing that is actually pretty heavy duty snap? Will the whole tree slip backwards and pull Paul and the digger over this precipice? I'd rather. That is my worry, actually. Uh, but what could go wrong? I can't really see. <laughs> That's been the tagline for this entire channel. So, you know, why change now? Oh dear. Okay. This is definitely by far the biggest tree we have ever attempted. Hey, hey, there we go. That's some of it down. Okay. Well, what happened? So not you, a lot. You've detangled it from the upper part. Okay. Yes. Is it detached from down there? I don't know. I heard a big cracky noise and sort of backed away. <laughs> Got fright. Yeah. Totally detached and down there. Oh, okay. That's good. Well then, yeah, we need to try and get it up before it, um, before it goes that way. Before it decides it's taking the digger and everything else straight down the slope. See how it goes. I reckon bring the digger around and start to pull it and see what how we the go. What hell was that? Like a snake hissed at me or something. <laughs> That's the chain, darling. You reckon pull it this way? Yeah. <laughs> Up towards me. <laughs> Let me try and get everything in shot for you guys. Just in case the tree pulls over the digger. We don't want that to happen. Okay, go. There we go. Yay! Oh, oh, okay, darling. <laughs> <laughs> 